I'm Kathy Thomas. I'm with celebrity chef Roy Yamaguchi at Roy's in Newport Beach. And Roy has a brand new fabulous cookbook. He's going to be cooking a special sea bass dish for us. So Roy, tell me a little bit about this dish. Well, I'm going to be doing a Hawaiian fusion sea bass, which we combine a lot of the French essence of making sauces. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn around and use a lot of bold aged flavors for the sauce also. And then uh, we have some spatzels. So it kind of makes it a fusion because of, uh, you know, spatzel, of course, right. is kind of German, yeah. which I really love. And then uh, combining that with a Thai curry sauce. Sounds, so, sounds so fabulous. There's a lot of different uh, flavors from all around the world. So how do we start? What I want to do is uh, start off by sauteing some um, some uh, ginger and garlic. Okay, so, I'm going to move over next to the stove so I can see better. Okay, so, so I have a little oil. A little here. oil. Uh -huh. And then uh, there's different ways you can do it. Um, you can start it off by adding the coconut milk, but sometimes when you do saute the uh, ginger and garlic and uh, your shallots, uh, you're going to get some of this uh, nutty flavor and tie up some lemongrass. So whenever you saute something, uh, you're, you'll be able to uh, caramelize the, uh, especially with onions and shallots and garlic. When you start car caramelizing the, uh, the ingredients, you're going to be able to get a different flavor, meaning that you may get a little bit more sweetness out of that sauteing. So I'm going to just make sure I cook this a little bit, but not brown it, because if you brown it too much, right. the flavors will become uh, a little bitter, and you don't want the bitter flavor. You want to make sure that you get that sweetness. So it's very lightly, lightly yes. brown. And then what, once that's done, what I want to do is, is I'm going to pour in some of this coconut milk. Right. Okay. So in goes the fish sauce. In goes the fish sauce. And then uh, I also like to use, um, you know, um, you, can, you can use, like, for instance, uh, granulated sugar. But to me, granulated sugar is just one-dimensional in flavor. Right. So instead of using, using uh, granulated sugar, what I want to do is, is use some of this uh, palm sugar. And can I make this sauce ahead of time? Of course. Um, this sauce you can make ahead of time. See, you can see how, how oh, it's starting it's to harden, reduce. You can make this ahead of time. Again, as I mentioned before, um, um, coconut uh, tends to, as you reduce it, tends to break break down. So if you do uh, make it ahead of time, a day ahead, what you can actually do is maybe even put it in the blender after you warm it up, oh, okay. or just make sure you get a you get a whisk and really mm -hmm. vigorously um, kind of like. Uh, uh, stir it so that um, it, it all comes back together again. And at the very end for this curry sauce, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of um, the curry paste because it's a curry sauce. So as you can see, the color has changed from that creamy white to more of a uh, golden light brown color. So and, and how thick do you want it? Do you want it to coat the spoon? Yeah, coat the spoon a little bit. Of course, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to cook it down just a little, little bit more because I don't want it to be too runny, but making sure that if it's too thick, then of course it's going to be too pasty. Right. Okay, so the sauce is about done, so I'm gonna just going to turn it off. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to just show you um, a little bit about uh, steaming. Okay, so now, Kathy, um, as you see, it's just plain boiling water, but what I try to do when I... Uh, steam my fish is add a little more dimension to the fish itself so if I were at home or if someone else were at home I would really suggest like flavoring the water so I have some nice uh, lemongrass here Hi. so if you were at home you would just kind of chop all the lemongrass and put the lemongrass in the water itself and again at the same time if you have ginger I would strongly suggest having some ginger okay and then and then slicing the ginger and you can just leave the skin on. You, know, you, you can flavor your water, and once you flavor your water, you can kind of let it boil so that the flavors come out. Right. And then after that, what you want to do is put a perforated pan like this, okay? So now, now you have the steaming effect, uh, as you see there. And then to that, uh, I can add the fish, and then I can, uh, you can pass me, uh, if you can maybe pass me the, uh, the pepper, uh, the pepper shaker right there. So, you know, putting the, uh, the salt like that, and then, of course, uh, put some pepper, okay, and then what I do is I just cover it, so I just, uh, I'm going to put this to the side right here, let that steam. 
And so you're heating a medium-sized skillet there. Yeah. I'm going to heat this skillet up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the base, uh, right. the bed, so-called bed, the vegetable for the uh, fish dish. But using a saute pan like this will give you the best uh, sear. That's what you want. You want to be able to really brown uh, the ingredients. So here I have some bacon. So you can use bacon or you can use pancetta. And then I'm going to add a little garlic. I've added the garlic uh, after because if I would have added the garlic in the beginning, sometimes you have a tendency that it might burn. Right, and so burned garlic is not a pleasant yeah, taste. It's not. And then I'm going to add some, uh, I have some artichokes that I can fill the end. Mm -hmm. I have some uh, shiitake mushrooms. Okay. We've got some really nice meaty flavors going on. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, meaty flavors and... What I can do is just kind of like uh, get that saute going. And then once I got that going, what I do is I kind of put a little well in the middle of the, uh, of the saute pan. Add some more, a little bit of olive oil. And then to that, I'm going to add some of the spatzel. Add a little bit of spatzel to that. And right after that, I'm going to just... A little more black pepper. A little bit more pepper. Get some of the salt. Okay. And I see that it's very subtly browning, just a little bit. Yes, yes. And then I'm going to taste it. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh. Wait till it's nice and soft. So I'm going to let it cook That's for a little bit. wonderful with that fish. And add some of this, a uh, little bit of asparagus and some, some uh, spinach to kind of finish it off. So I'm, I'm going to turn to the counter and then we can start plating this dish. How's that? All right. That sounds good to me. Okay. Let's get it on the plate. Okay, Kathy. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this spatzel mixture. I put this in the middle of the plate. They have the asparagus, spatzel, bacon. Okay. So this is kind of the meaty section of the dish itself. Right. You know, I have some lot of smokiness to it. Mm -hmm. We got the spatzel for a little pasta action. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Gorgeous. And then um, I have the steamed sea bass. Okay. As you can see, it's nice. Uh, just has a nice uh, moist to it. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's just shimmering. It's so moist. Okay. Put that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sauce, and I'm going to go around the plate with the sauce. It's a relatively easy dish to make. I mean, there may be a little lot of prep to it, but uh, once you start growing on this thing, it goes yeah, kind of fast. It's gorgeous. And you can actually do a lot of this ahead of time, as, 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 I, as I did before. And if you have a nice sprig of basil, and you can kind of put this sprig of uh, basil on top, and there you go. You have this nice uh, Hawaiian sea bass, and it has, you know, again, curry sauce. It has spatzels and kind of a mixture of Hawaiian food. It looks absolutely delicious. Well, thank thank you. you so much, Roy. You're welcome. Thank we you. We appreciate it. Our pleasure.